your girl Christy from JV in the morning. Trevor Simpson from Weekend Sporadically. <laughs> and the Clever Studio. And oh. Miss Kesha, Kesha, fresh off the stage, Hi. Wild Jam 2010. How was it? Like 15,000 people? Actually, it's more than that. Screaming? It was incredible. It was a fantasy fulfilled, I will have to say. It was really fun, really hot, um, really big. <laughs> So you were up there, and I saw you had a whole band with you, and you played instruments, you beat uh -huh. drums. I mean, is that is that your normal act? Have you been doing that ever since you started? Well, yeah, I've been playing music since I was little, and I grew up in Nashville just playing, like, guitar and playing piano to write songs on, and then I started beating on drums, like, about a year ago. Oh. So now you are from Nashville, and, of course, everyone knows right now there's some serious flooding. I saw a picture of the Grand Ole Opry, and I was like, oh, my God, are you kidding me? It's like filled with water, but you actually stepped up to the plate, and um, you're planning a benefit concert. Yeah. Tell us more about what you're doing. Um, well, I'm from Nashville, and I have to say that it's one of the most incredible cities in the entire world. I want to go. I hear they have good barbecue. Uh, they have amazing barbecue and so much soul. It's my home still. Like, I moved to L.A. and then just moved right back. That's what's up. <laughs> and I just, um, I have to say the city definitely made me who I am, so it was devastating to see the damage, and so I'm playing a benefit show on the 16th of June, and 100% is going to families and animals affected by the floods. That's so sad. So, um, speaking of animals, anyone try and like throw <laughs> blood on you or something <laughs> crazy? Because you always have all these like dope hats, like oh, it's all fake, all fake, stuff, always like fake. That. It's always okay. fake fur. I never wear real fur, and if I'm ever wearing feathers, which I am, it's always recycled. Nice. Yeah. There you go. So I don't actually kill anybody or anything. Now, um, Trevor was telling me earlier that you snuck into the Bay Area. <gasps> I can't believe I missed it. I know. You were actually sitting at a VIP booth in a, a little party that we were throwing with Mickey Avalon. Oh, all yeah. All of a sudden, you jumped up on stage, and everyone was like, wow, that's her right there. That was really fun. That was a sneak attack for sure. Fight for your right to party? Yeah. Like I love the lot. Beastie Boys. <laughs> well, I went on tour with Mickey before, and Dirt Nasty was somebody that he works with a lot. He's in my video for TikTok, so it's kind right. of all in the family. And um, I went to support, and then he just kind of called me out, so I had to get on stage. Well, no. it was a good show. A very big surprise for the <laughs> area. I'm mad I missed that. Please, no more sneak attacks. I'll give you my number. Just like, Christy, I'm going to be in town, and I can come, like, stalk you. <laughs> I Deal. I, I love it. stalking. You showed up. <laughs> yeah. Did you? <laughs> oh, no. I'm so scared. <laughs> so speaking of videos, I just saw um, the video for Yay! Your Love is My Drug. Oh, my God. It is one acid trip. Very you think? Cool. Oh, loved my gosh. It. Do you like it? I loved it. How did you come up with the concept? If you have not seen this video, it's crazy. They're in the desert. They're canoeing on sand. And then there's like, you turn into a fish, and Woo. like it's craziness. What? And there's elephants. No yeah, video. there's lots of elephants. Tell us more about your Okay, video. so this this song was written about a psychotic relationship I was in. I wrote it quickly, and I knew like as I was writing it, I was like, I want the video to be like a total psychedelic trip, comparing like a love you have with somebody, and like it kind of turning psychotic uh -huh. into it being happens. like an addiction. So I wanted the video to just be like super psychedelic and I'm a huge fan of the Beatles and obviously Yellow Submarine mm -hmm. was inspirational in just thinking about concepts for the video. So it's a mix of live action and then it goes into animation. Yes, it does. Very cool. And um, yeah, I, I do turn into a mermaid and I ride an <laughs> elephant across the <laughs> desert and there's black light paint and pythons. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Just watch it. <laughs> <laughs> to all the guys I've ever stalked, made out with, or ran over with my car. That was just one guy. Oh, really? Tell us the story. <laughs> well, no. Okay. Come on, girl. You're talking about psychotic right. relationships. Okay, okay, now okay. okay. Dish, I want to okay. know. You're the f this is the first time I've ever been asked this question, so Wait. I applaud you. I applaud you for asking an interesting question. Thank you. Um, <laughs> well, this one time, I went to this dude's house. He's like, come over, having a pool party. And I get there, and I'm, like, rolling in my Lincoln, like, Tied. my caddy old school. And he's like, oh, I need a ride. And I was like, you're, like, 30, and I'm, like, 17. You need a ride? Like, wow. get a job. And... <laughs> Then he's like, no, like, you have to give me a ride. So I had to sneak out through the garage, and I get in my car, and I start driving, and I'm like, oh, no, it's a dead end. So I turn my car around, he's standing in the middle of the street. And I was like, okay, buddy, it's either me or you, and I'm not giving you a ride. So you were just the other way. So I'm like, pedal to the metal, like, we're playing chicken at this point. I'm like, I'm not stopping. I'm not going to give you a ride. No. You're 30, get a job. And so I'm just driving towards him as fast as I can, and finally, like, he saw the crazy in my eyes, and he got out of the way but his foot didn't 
Oh. You're like, oops, my bad. Holler. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> just don't get in my way. Okay, then that's what's up. Well, nothing is stopping you right now. You are totally <laughs> on top. TikTok, blah, blah, blah. Like, your love is my drug. What's next for Kesha? Are we going to get, like, a perfume or clothing line or Woo. anything crazy like that? Well, I don't know what the perfume would smell like. I have to what would it smell discover like? my essence. What do I you mean, think it would be? I recently got, like battered because I jokingly said that I smell like shrimp in a diaper, but I don't actually smell like a shrimp Let in a see. diaper. Yeah, oh no, no, I'm so yeah. scared. Good. I'm not getting that <laughs> essence right now. Good. Don't worry. That's I want you to do the same she's thing. Being nice. She's being nice. She's just being nice. <laughs> <laughs> I just got off stage. There's no way I smell No, good. trust me. You smell a lot better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Back here uh, running around with all these lights. So. Uh, perfume. I don't know. I'll probably come out with something. I want to come out with a line of capes. They've That's been out. Up. Yeah, they've been out of fashion since like what 1800s they should come back well everything is coming back including my bomb ass calculator watch oh, that i've been sorry. rocking since oh, 98 and yes. now it's nice. just coming back all right. in like 2010 so i say on with the capes all right yes all right deal done okay cool we're backstage at wild jam 2010 you want to shout out the bay or say anything yeah what's go? up you guys i love it up here and um thank you so much for having me wild